In my first video about this small UPS device here inside this box, I checked that the output remained at 5 volts even when there was no input. Um, but here I'm doing another little test and a bit of a viewer request. In a moment I'll move a bit closer into the meters, but for now I just want to explain the test setup here. I've got three meters set up here and the meter on the left is going to show the uh, voltage and the power going into the UPS module and uh, the meter on the right is going to show the power coming out of the module when I attach a small uh, USB load. And the meter in the middle is just going to show the voltage of the 18650 uh, attached to that UPS module. And I've put this little lamp on here to make sure that this power bank doesn't turn off. So now I'll zoom in a bit closer to the meters. So here we are, we've got 5.2 volts on the input and 5.2 volts on the output of the UPS module. And the uh, lithium cell is sat at 4.14 volts. Uh, it actually completed its charge, uh, did the TP4056 at 4.18 volts. And uh, that was at about 100 milliamps, which is about right, 10% uh, of the initial 1 amp charge. So if I attach a just small load now to the output here, we can see it's 130 milliamps there um, at 5.2 volts so that's working as it should but what we also notice is the uh, battery voltage is decreasing 4.11 volts now and there is absolutely no power coming into the UPS from the external power supply and of course as long as that external power supply is live the UPS should be using it but clearly it isn't. We are drawing from the battery even in a normal power situation. So actually when we've only got a small um, drain here on the system and the uh, battery is reasonably well charged we have a net loss um, in the UPS. The battery is decreasing rather than being maintained and the external power supply supplying all the current to the load. So that's a strange thing. So if I turn up the uh, load here on the little USB electronic load, let's take it up to, I don't know, 400 milliamps here. Uh, we can see we've got 2.1 watts there on the output and that battery voltage is still dropping and still we have no current coming into the UPS, only energy coming out of the UPS. So if I increase that load further still, now we've got up to 450 milliamps and this has now kicked in. It's realised that the battery voltage is dropping and the TP4056 has started charging the 18650 I have in this UPS module. 643 milliamps coming in and uh, 477 milliamps uh, going out into that electronic load. So that means that the battery voltage is slowly creeping up. We are replacing that energy we've just depleted. Well, let's, uh, let's continue and uh, increase the uh, electronic load some more. And as we do that... Let's go all the way up to its maximum, which is 1 amp, and we can see we've happily got 5.23 volts, 1 amp, uh, on the output. But that voltage is dropping again, and that's because there's actually less power coming into the UPS than it's delivering on its output here. Uh, 5.16 watts on the out, uh, input, sorry, and 5.27 watts on on the output so unfortunately in this situation the battery is being depleted and if we left this uh, load on here at one amp for a reasonable length of time we'd actually flatten the uh, 18650 lithium battery here in my ups module so i've left this here for a couple of minutes and as you can see we've still got 
more power on the output than we have on the input so we've still got a net loss out of the UPS system even though there is a perfectly capable power supply on the input capable of delivering all this power to the output. So let me uh, turn down that USB load again now and take it to uh, something much more reasonable back down to a hundred milliamps uh, the voltage of the battery increases again because there's less load on it and uh, of course now with 500 milliamps on the input and only a hundred milliamps on the output well there's a spare 400 milliamps there or thereabouts left over to actually charge the lithium cell so if you do use this module you may find that your lithium cell is in an almost constant recharge state which might not be optimal hopefully you've enjoyed this little update if you have give me a thumbs up subscribe down below comment if you can and i will see you next time thanks for watching